Welcome back. Yesterday I received quite a few packages for the 48WL. I'm sure there's other parts in there too that don't necessarily go to this project. I ordered a bunch of stuff online and everything seemed to get backlogged and held up in shipment. It seems like a lot of these things they'll immediately ship and then wait a week to actually move. I'm not sure what's going on with that or what's happening around the world or why. I know with my stuff I try to get it out the same day it's bought if I can. If I can't, it's usually the next morning or if it's bought on the weekend, it happens on a Monday. Anyway, we'll get these packages open and show you what we received. Got a little excited yesterday and opened up a couple of things off camera. But I did finally buy a Bruce Palmer's How to Restore Your Harley Davidson Guide. I think this is the first series. I know he's got three series on that and I'm not sure which one is the best. Uh, but this is the one that I bought first. So we'll start there. We'll go through that and see what information that I have that's good to me or good for the bike that I'm building right now. I did also pick up a new rear drum. The drum that I have on the bike right now, the, the threads for the lug nuts are they're just wallered out real bad. I don't have a good way to fix that here, so I had to resort to buying a new one, which I think will do well. The flywheels that I have on the 48, I'm currently working on getting rebuilt and um, it has 50 over pistons. So I did buy a set of new old stock piston rings that will fit this bike. So I bought those. In case the pistons on that bike are bad, I did buy a set of 50 or pistons that are made by Dixie Distributing. Um, they're an older set and they're made in Taiwan. Um, I think they'll be okay. I've got mixed reviews on these things, so I don't know if they're good or bad. But if the pistons that I have on the bike won't work, I do have an alternative. I figure that way when I'm getting the flywheels rebuilt, I'll have everything that I need to do the work all at once. That way when they're done, they're just done. I don't have to go back and order parts later. I also bought a replacement headlight mount. The one that I have, the, the top, Part of the bracket is busted right off. I don't have the piece, unfortunately. I know that I could probably find some metal around and, and make something work, but for me, it was easier just to buy the part and then keep the broken one. Maybe I'll work on fixing it sometime. Also bought axle adjusters. I know with that frame on the left hand side, one of the adjusters is busted off. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that out. I'm, I'm assuming that's gonna need some heat, probably some penetrating oil. Hopefully I'll be able to heat it up enough, throw a bunch of oil at it and be able to thread it back out. We'll find out. And I finally have bought a GoPro selfie stick. I don't have one. I do now, but I hadn't had one. I've been carrying around my tripod and that works, but it's a little awkward to pick up and maneuver around, especially if you're out at an event or even in the shop with the limited space that I have. This is toner cartridges. I needed those for my printer. I'm running out of toner in the printer. As I said before, I've got an eBay business and I pack and ship a lot of parts and things like toner seem to move fast.
Packing peanuts are always fun. They're, they're nice until they get on the floor and then they're everywhere. And they're kind of a pain in the butt. With this spike, I did not have the proper headlight. And this is not the proper headlight either. Um, I just don't have the money right now for a cycle ray headlight bucket. So instead I bought an alternative that I think will work really well. I feel it has the right look that I'm going for. should have new old stock bulbs around here somewhere that'll actually fit this. But I ended up with a, a deep style you know, car headlight, headlamp. I do like these, I like this look. I feel that this will, this will mount well and it'll look nice on the bike and fit the look I'm going for. It does have that age to look to the, the paint, They're kind of the same color, similar colors that are, that's on the bike. So I'm excited to have that. And last but not least for the day, I do buy a lot of parts from Lowbrow Customs. I do like their customer service, I like their website, I like the availability for parts. Um, they're close to me, so their, their shipment turnaround time is super fast. And like I said, I really like dealing with these guys. They do a lot of, they do a lot of good things and got a lot of nice parts. And I really appreciate how fast this stuff gets to me. Tap size guide, it's pretty neat. Something will hang up on the wall. Of course, you always get their, their cool sticker and their Instagram 50 bucks. So we'll take a picture of the project and try to run a $50 gift card to Lowbrow. Some of these parts I have bits and pieces to. I don't have a complete you know, fender mounting kit for the front or rear fender. So I went with Colony Supplies. I got the rear fender kit and the uh, front fender kit. This will help me determine what I have because some of these parts I don't know. Like I said, I've got a five gallon bucket that's half full of hardware. Some of that stuff I know is not motorcycle related. Some of it is. And some of it's busted. Some of these threads on the things that are in there are toast. So I've got these kits to reference. I'm gonna to try to use as much original parts as I can on the bike. And then of course, I'm gonna you know, offset that with the, the colony parts that I've ordered. I also needed another stand. Um, I have had quite a few of these and I sold a few motors and a few of the guys that have bought motors from me, you know, wanted the stand too. So they bought, we, you know, brokered a deal to buy the stand. And now I'm finally replacing, you know, one of the two or three that I've sold in the past year. Um, these are good quality stands. They fit all big twin, Evo, shovel head, uh, big twin flat head, flat head, excuse me, pan head, uh, knuckle head, engines. They're, you know, I don't know who makes them honestly, but they're bent real nice. They fit real well. I've, I've really enjoyed these. You can mount it to any surface if you want. Uh, the holes are big enough to fit um, any, you know, mounting hardware that you have or whatever you're using in a pinch. But like I said, I do like their stands. They're built real well and the price is really good. And honestly, when you buy, you know, for hundred dollars, you get free shipping through them, which is always a great perk. Anyway, I wanted to open these couple of packages and show you what I've got today. I've got three or four more things arriving later today. Um, and I'll probably put those aside. Some neat pieces that I've been looking for and very thankful that I have found on this 48. But it's coming along. Um, hopefully we'll put up a video soon of a little bit of work that I'm gonna do on that, maybe today. 
I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.